Good morning, everyone. Good morning, this is Amy with 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida, getting a early start this morning. I am on my way to Blue Pearl Emergency Hospital. It is 8.30 in the morning. There's a lot to catch up on this morning. One emergency after another, it just doesn't stop. So I'm gonna wait for some people to jump on before I continue to talk so I don't have to keep repeating myself. Good morning, good morning everyone. <clears throat> Hope you are all well this morning. And I'll just update you as soon as I pull into the parking lot, I'm almost here at the Blue Pearl 24 hour critical emergency hospital where we currently have three dogs, not one, not two, but now three. The reason I'm heading here right now is because the dog 25 pound TT uh, that we picked up yesterday at the Miami-Dade shelter um, was found as a stray on the side of the road and apparently hit by a car, has trauma, uh, fractured pelvis and possible tear in his urethra. So he needs to go in for TT um, immediate surgery this morning with our surgeon, Dr. Babeski. I am traveling solo right now. Um, it's early. Shelly is taking care of the dogs at house two. Tiffany's at house one. Give me one second, please. So I'm here to pick up TT and transport TT to Heroes, to Dr. Babevsky, who has done all of our surgeries. She is going to get him in early this morning for the surgery. That's what I'm saying, TT. Exactly, Leanne. It sounds familiar, right? It sounds just like Dalton. We're hoping it's... Uh, less invasive good morning I'm here to pick up TT, TT. Okay. thank you so I'm gonna be transporting TT to heroes for surgery this morning with dr. Babevsky got them all set up with a nice bed here so he can rest comfortably next to me um, thank you for your love and prayers I put up the donation link for help because we have so much going on <clears throat> uh, the second dog that's here at the animal hospital is also um, Kobe a Shih Tzu owner surrender and he's had his second blood transfusion he's two years of age so he's here uh, took him in haven't even met him yet got a call and I said yes so uh, Kobe is a two-year-old Shih Tzu Last night when I was getting an update from the doctors on TT and Kobe, they asked if I could take an eight week old Shih Tzu that was being owner surrendered because he was super lethargic and he was vomiting and he had blood in his stool. Um, he came, came uh, tested negative for Parvo. So they're running tests to see what's going on with the eight week old Shih Tzu owner surrender that 100 plus took in late last night. I haven't even met him, I saw a photo. Of course, an eight week old Shih Tzu, adorable. I've given him the name Forrest. Um, so we have three dogs currently here at the Blue Pearl uh, Specialty 
emergency hospital 24-hour care and I placed a hold on a dog at the Miami-Dade shelter late last night that grabbed my heart. His name is Mac. He is a owner surrender with severe skin condition. Um, he's a lab and um, he's at the Miami-Dade shelter so I'm juggling to get a couple of my girls to run down to the shelter today and pick up Mac. Um, don't know anything about his medical. I don't know, we can say worms, we can say parasites, we could say whatever, but they're doing testing on the dogs currently. So like I said, I'm here to pick up TT, who is going in for surgery this morning with Dr. Babeski to repair a tear possibly in his urethra. They're gonna place a catheter um, because he had free fluid in his um, abdomen, which was urine. So it's never ending. So TT's going in for surgery, waiting for them to bring TT out. Kobe is here, owner surrender. Haven't even met him yet, two-year-old Shih Tzu. Um, he has already received two blood transfusions. And then I took in an owner surrender late last night, a little eight-week-old Shih Tzu who was lethargic, vomiting, and had blood in his stool, negative for parvo. And I gave him the name Forrest. Again, um, Mac, M-A-C-K saw his face, the saddest eyes, saddest face of just let down, owner surrender, skin condition around his eyes, has the raccoon eyes, sad skin conditions, callous, eight year old beautiful lab of pure neglect uh, that we are picking up today between two and three. I am doing two amazing home checks for possible two adoptions today as well. Um, in the afternoon. I am going to be heading to Delray Beach uh, late morning after I drop TT off. I'll be heading to Rescue House 2 um, and then I will be grabbing Shelly to go do a home check in Delray Beach for one of our amazing dogs and then after that I will be doing a home check slash adoption this afternoon. So when you say a busy day, um, that's a busy day for me and um, just wanted to jump on because I haven't really had a chance. I don't even think my team knows all that's going on because it, I've been kind of doing all of this behind the scene, trying to update my team as mm -hmm. we go. Um, getting text messages. So I'm just going to sit back here for a minute. I need to get TT into Heroes before 9 a.m. That is the scheduled time for surgery for TT. Uh, TT is sweet. We picked up C uh, TT along with Princess yesterday. So two beautiful lives saved. I noticed, uh, yeah, you know, I don't know where the adrenaline rush comes from and the energy. Uh, the alarm went off this morning, just jumped out of bed, just had a couple sips of coffee, taking care of my own personal dogs. Oh, thanks to my um, awesome wife, Carol, for helping me hold the fort down. Uh, thank you, baby. I appreciate it. But um, it's just a, a constant treadmill. It's like you just can't get off and you just keep finding the strength to keep going and pushing forward. So many babies and so many lives need us. So um, good morning, Amy. What's up? Uh, no, we can't change TT to Peter. His name is TT, T-I-T-I. -T -I. Um, for now, we're keeping TT. And again, uh, Princess Little White Bichon we rescued yesterday, 10-year-old owner Surrender, who is nothing but pure, delicious love. Um, Zoe, thank you. Zoe is fostering Princess. She's fostering um, Storm. And um, she's also fostering the new lab that's coming in um, for a little while until we have a room open. We also took... Oh! <laughs> We also took in a little Minpin Chihuahua female named Chloe late last night. Uh, apparently her owners, two years old, not spayed, left her abandoned, uh, moved out and left her on a balcony. Um, a wonderful gentleman named Danny uh, took in this little Minpin Chihuahua and had, him at his home, had her at his home for a couple of days. Uh, and the reason I found out about the little Minpin Chihuahua, you guys following me? Because I'm just rambling, but I'm updating you. Um, little Chloe, who's a Minpin Chihuahua that we took in last night, 
uh, abandoned on a balcony by her owner. Uh, Danny, who is a landscaper, who does landscaping for our awesome Nana, Christine and Bob, our foster mm -hmm. puppy foster, um, <clears throat> told Christine about this dog. Christine reached out to me and I said, yes, of course, uh, we'll take the Chihuahua. So little Chloe is, is at Zoe's and slept in Zoe's bed last night. So Zoe Rock, thank you for uh, taking in so many of these little babies to help us with fostering because we're so full. And if any of you are open to fostering, please send us an email at 100plusabandonedogs at gmail.com. Uh, you must be local because we need to get them back and forth to their vet appointments and if and when they, when they are ready for adoption, we need to be able to do meet and greets. So it has to be close and local. <clears throat> Um, yesterday while we were at the shelter there were about I don't know five dogs that we placed holds on while we were there and walked through there were so many little faces that grabbed us and each and every one of them came back with either an adoption hold or a rescue hold so we were very happy to hear um, that they were all safe along with that being in line entering waiting to enter the shelter yesterday um, somebody came up with a bucket of kittens and uh, we offered to take them they would not you heard it live on the video they wouldn't let us take the kittens that's their protocol so um, no we tried but unfortunately we were um, just it wasn't unsuccessful <sighs> so right now I'm just sitting and breathing I'm talking to all of you mm -hmm. and waiting for TT to come out so I can get him to his doctor's appointment at 9 a.m. Pitbull in the cage. I have been underneath the. It's called the thread. It was. I was tagged on social media. I don't. We don't sleep. Um, I was tagged on social media about a female gray pit bull that was mm -hmm. in a lockbox. Not a lockbox, but a, a metal crate box. Um, in all the the weather, the elements of the you know rain and and heat um, and asking for assistance. And we said we would take. And then they wouldn't give the address and they said that they did the business decided they were going to keep right here is it all ready for you you got yeah i got tt all hooked up look at you okay baby hi tt good morning monkey oh, that's nice, oh did you guys shave them or did they shave we did that's awesome yeah, nice look at you. I got him propped, so Perfect. yeah. Good boy. Stay there, Bobo. Bo. Stay there. So I have the paperwork and awesome. then the um, urinary catheter set up, so you're all set. Fantastic. Okay, good luck. And the pink on his leg is just the ivy catheter. Perfect. Good luck, okay. Thanks for all your love oh, and care. Of course. Do you know how any by any chance how the little uh, baby eight week? Oh, the Shih Tzu? Yeah. yeah it's looking all right. Lethargic. Um, yeah, lethargic. His blood pressure is either hard, like super hard to find, or it's low. Mm. Um, sugar is better on the dextrose. Doesn't want to eat. It's still kind of dumpy. Okay. And they were going to pass a nasogastric tube now. Okay. Will you keep me? We tell her to call me later and keep oh, me. Of course. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. How's Elijah doing? Oh. <sighs> I saw on Facebook. He looks so good. <laughs> he is off the chart perfection. Like we can't find anything wrong. No he's, triggers. No nothing. He's, he's perfection. Evil. I know. Right. Give him a hug for me. I promise you. <laughs> Thanks for everything. Of course. Thank you. <laughs> See how wonderful I love these nurses. All right, buddy, we're on our way. So, I am going to hit the road. Good morning, TT. Hi, handsome boy. They shaved him down. He was so matted. I can take this mask off now. Oh. Hi, TT. Hold on, buddy. Hold on. Oh. He has a fractured pelvis and um, uh he has urine in his abdomen, so there's a leak somewhere. They need to pass a catheter and make sure that the urine is going where it needs to go and it doesn't fill up his abdomen. So that's we are going in for surgery. Uh, thank you to our awesome, amazing team of doctors here at Blue Pearl and communicating with our, I can't even put into words, surgeon Babevsky. Um, and thank you to her for getting him in this morning because it needs to be done as soon as possible. Hi, sweet baby. I can't love on you while I'm driving. 
wanted to make sure that I had everything set up for him nice and comfy um, so he's propped up comfortable over here next to me I didn't want him in the back seat I wanted to be able to reach over and touch him so guys I am going to sign off for now and um, I'll keep you guys posted we have a lot happening but what I'm asking please 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 we have so many medical emergencies right now we could really use your help I know it's early um, but any amount would be so so appreciated please make a donation donation no amount is uh, too small and help us help all these babies that we are taking into our um, 501c3 rescue we depend solely on the support of you our community without it we can't continue so please make a donation this is Amy with my update this morning a lot of update this morning uh, 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades Florida <laughs>